Lemon Slice just released their new conversations feature. That means that with a single image, you can make all the characters in that image talk and the lip sync will do the rest for you. Now, up until right now, there's no other platform that has been able to do this with multiple characters into the same shot. So in this video, we're gonna test it out to see how good it actually is. Now, I will show you in this video how you can generate the images. I will show you how you can generate the voices and how you can bring all of it together. And the best part is that you can do it all on a single platform so if you want to check out lemon slice i'll leave the link in the description below after you sign up to lemon slice this is the page that you will see so we can do two things here we can do lemon slice live or we can do lemon slice studio now for this one we're gonna do lemon slice studio so we click on create a video and here we have the following options we have studio conversations and we have gallery we're gonna start off with the conversations as this will allow you to have multiple characters animated in the same image so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select an image you can choose from your media or you can generate media so here you can just type in your prompt so for me that would be a young couple sits side by side on a quiet rooftop at sunset now for the model i'm gonna go with flux context as that's my favorite one and then for the aspect ratio i'm gonna go 16 by 9 and now we're just gonna generate it and then we have an image like this So now we have our image. If you're happy with it, you can click on use this image or you can regenerate it and try it again. So now we're gonna use this one. And then the next step is to draw over a box of the face of your character. You wanna make sure that the box is like big enough, not like small like this, because that gives the AI very little space to apply motion in your video. So now you wanna do the same for your other character. And as you can see, you cannot overlap this. Now that we have the boxes done, it's time to create a voice. So here we can select either of the voice that they've already generated or we can click on new voice and here we can go with voice design so for voice design we're going to give it a name so for this one meal uh, korean then we're going to give it a prompt so i have my prompt right here which is about a young korean man then i have like some things about like the tone of his voice and now we can generate the previews you are the coolest most beautiful you are the coolest most you are the coolest most beautiful you are the out of these three, you can pick your favorite ones. For me, it's the first one. So now we click save voice. And now we do the exact same thing for our other character, which is a female character. So I have my prompt here. You are the coolest, most beautiful. You are the coolest, most. You are the coolest, most beautiful. You are the coolest, most beautiful person. I. Out of this one, again, I like the first one the most. So we choose that one. And now we have the voices done. So what we can do is we can change the order of the way that they're talking. So for example, if I want to have character two, which is the girl talk first, then I move this up or down. So by moving it up, you have that character talk first. Then what you wanna do is you wanna type in your text and then it will automatically start transcribing or automatically start generating your audio. So next up, I have my audio right here. And then before you generate all of this, you can preview it right here. Honey, should I subscribe to Dan Kieft? I think you should, honey. I think you should. Now the last step is optionally, if you want to have this private, then you can select this and then you can generate the video. This will only cost you 12 credits, which is insanely cheap. And after doing all of that, you get a result like this. Honey, should I subscribe to Dan Kieft? I think you should, honey. I think you should. Okay, so let's do all of that again, but this time I'm gonna make it a bit more complex. So now I got four different characters right here. So as you can see, what I have to do now is I have to draw boxes across every character. So I'm gonna do the same here. Then I add in a character and you can just keep on adding in characters. So just gotta make sure it all fits. And then for the last one, I'm gonna add my character right here. Now we do the exact same process, so we select our voices. For this one, I'm gonna go with the standard voices because otherwise you have to generate four different voices, but if you want, you can do that. So now I've completed all of the voices, I've written my script, and the crazy thing about this is you can go endless ways with this. Like if you have a cartoon story that has multiple different characters, you can make all of them talk in that same image. So if you have a large group like this, you can make all of them talk. So in fact, I'm just gonna generate this and then I'm gonna show you the result. Thanks to Dan for not gatekeeping this. Yeah, Lemon Slice is pretty cool. 
Can't believe we are all getting animated from a single image. I know. A minute ago, I thought I was real. So yeah, that is pretty insane, right? So all of the characters do have some kind of like head movement going on. You can see them like blinking here and all of that can all be done within a lemon slice. Now, let me show you some other features that I think lemon slice is really good for. So now we go back to the studio. So now that you understand how to animate multiple different characters in the same image with lip sync, I want to show you the studio of lemon slice because in this studio you can do something that is super powerful and this is the tool that i use the most personally so what you can do here is you can upload any image or video you can then upload your audio and then you can generate it and you can now select the newest 2.7 model which allows you to do really expressive avatars for example you can generate something like this dan what the hell is happening why am I being chased by this spider thing? So let me show you how it works. So first you want to select your image. In this case, I'm going to use this image of myself. Then what I can do is I can record my own voice by selecting the audio. So here I can click on record and here I can just record my own voice or I can script out any type of voice choosing any of these characters or I can build my own character voice or I can even choose music. Now, I will show you music later, but now for this one, I will just record my own voice. So what I have here prepared is Lemon Slice is pretty cool. I can upload an image of myself, record my own voice in advance, and I have my own talking avatar. Then you can listen to this. Lemon Slice is pretty cool. So yeah, if you like it, then use that audio, and then you can choose between the 2.5 model which is a bit more expressive. Like you don't have an option to do least expressive as of right now. So for this one, if I know I'm honestly, you watching this, you know, I'm just like in this box. So I don't need a lot of like expressive movements. But for example, that girl that I showed you, I made that using 2.7 because a lot was going on on the screen. So for this one, I'm choosing 2.5. Then I'm going with 1080p resolution. Then for this one, you can choose between the generation mode. You can do normal, in paint or manually. The auto select feature has done a great job so far for me. And then I'm gonna choose least expressive because I don't wanna have a lot of movement in my video. Then once you're ready, you click on generate your video and then you will get something like this. Lemon Slice is pretty cool. I can upload an image of myself, record my own voice in advance and have my own talking avatar. If you think that already is cool, then look at this. If you click on edit image, then here you want to change the resolution to 16 by 9 and you want to change the flux context. All I'm prompting right here is just saying this photo in a 3D cartoon style. Then we hit generate and then you can turn yourself into a 3D animated character. If you like this image, then you click on use this image and now we can use that and then we can do the same process. You now understand how you can animate videos or images of yourself using the 2.5 model, but let's switch it up a notch. Let's go to the 2.7 and now we're gonna use any type of image. So you can either generate it from scratch or you can choose one that you can just upload right here. So I have this Viking right here and I want to add in some audio while he is cooking up. So what we can do is we can write a script right here First up, you want to go over all of these voices to find a matching voice. This one. You are the coolest, most beautiful. Quite matches what I have in mind. So I'm going with Buck. Then I'm going to type in my prompt, which will be, oh, I hate cooking. It just takes way too long and I'm hungry. Now we can click on generate. Then you have a listen to this. And then if you're happy with it, you use the audio. Then we're gonna click on 2.7. Here, we're gonna go with 1080p resolution. And then we wanna go with most expressive. Now we click private video and then we hit generate. This gives us a video like this one. Oh, I hate cooking. It takes a long time. Yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, that's how you can animate any type of character using Lemon Slice. So for this girl, for example, where I have this high pitched voice. Dan, what the hell is happening? I generated that voice inside of 11 Labs because inside of 11 Labs, you might get a better result now that they have released a new V3 voice. So with that, you can try that out and then you can just download it 
And then once you go back into like a lemon slice, you select your audio and then here you click on my media and then you upload your audio right here. Honestly, most people will have enough if they're just doing this by generating their own voice because I already know like all of these voices, if you create your own voice are already generated using 11 Labs inside of Lemon Slice. The next feature that I wanna show you is called AI Music. And I wanna show you how this all works because I've been seeing this all over my Insta and my TikTok. So the way it works is basically as follows. First, you wanna go inside the studio again, then you wanna select your image or you wanna generate one. So I have something in mind here. So I'm gonna go with a 1940 singer. So let's generate this. The model will be 16 by nine, and then we're gonna use Flux Context again. Then you're gonna use that image. And then here for the audio, we're gonna use AI music. And you don't need to have music. You can just enter in your prompt. So I've prepared a little prompt right here, which is a male vocalist that is a singing like a 1940s type of song. Now we want to have a listen to the song. I, under silver skies we linger. Pretty good. We use this. And the great thing about this tool is you can generate up to five minutes of videos with one single image. Now that will take you a bit longer in terms of generation time. So for the sake of this video, and because I'm only gonna show you a short segment, I'm only gonna do like 29 seconds. So now we wanna use the 2.7 model. Then we wanna choose the high resolution. And here we do the extent. So it has to extend itself. And now we hit generate. Now here's the result. I, under silver skies we linger Lastly, I want to suggest you go over to the gallery to see what other people are making. So you have somewhat of an idea what is possible with this tool because people are making some cool stuff. So, like stuff like that it's pretty funny but if you want to use this yourself i will leave a link in the description down below and let me just quickly go over the pricing of this tool so you have an idea of how much this will cost you so i'm using the professional plan which is 40 dollars a month because that will give me five minutes of audio generation this is great for if you want to make like long talking avatars and you want to have like five minutes of you talking on the screen with that you also have access to 2.7 and you can generate up to 20 custom voices if you're using the 2.7 model a lot, which is a bit more expensive in terms of generation, then I would suggest going with the plus plan or with the professional plan. Or if you're a power user, then you can go with the premium plan, of course. Now that you know how you can make cool looking AI animated videos or AI avatar videos using Lemon Slice, you might want to learn how to use AI to create thumbnails for your YouTube videos. If you click the video that's on the screen right now, I will teach you exactly how you can leverage AI to make the best possible thumbnails for videos like even this one, for example.